Here you can see some copper sulfate solution in the test tube and an iron nail. And a close inspection of the nail shows that it is fairly new and there's not a trace of rust on it. Now we're going to place the iron nail in the copper sulfate solution. We're going to see if there are any changes. Already you might be able to see that there are some changes occurring on the surface of the nail. Once we've removed it from the solution, you can see it appears to be coated in a brown substance, which many people often think is rust. We're going to take a look at exactly what's happening here in the rest of the video. The process you've just observed is actually a displacement reaction. So what do we mean by this? Well, different metals have different reactivities. And a reactive metal can displace a less reactive metal from its compounds. So if we consider a reaction between metal 1 sulfate and metal 2, we can see that we form metal 1 and metal 2 sulfate. So a change has occurred, a reaction has taken place. And metal 2 has displaced metal 1 from its compound. This is why metal 1 ends up as the free metal on the right hand side of the equation. This tells us that metal 2 is more reactive than metal 1. And this will probably make more sense when we go back and look at the example we considered earlier. So here you can see the reaction occurring again in the video clip. We have copper sulfate and iron reacting to form copper metal and iron sulfate. And the brown colour that we saw on the surface of the nail is actually the copper metal which is formed in the course of this reaction. And remember that this occurs because iron is more reactive than copper. And it's worth considering as well as the word equation, the symbol equation for this reaction which is given below, and it's also worth thinking about the particles that are involved in the reaction. And here you can see the copper sulphate on the left hand side with the iron, and on the right hand side we can see copper and iron sulphate. And we can think of the reaction in terms of particles with a little bit of an animation as shown on this particular screen. So first of all we're starting with copper sulphate and iron the iron effectively comes in and displaces the copper from the compound, taking the sulphate, forming a new compound, and that summarizes what happens in the course of this particular displacement reaction. And don't forget that this reaction occurs because iron is a more reactive metal than copper.